In this tutorial video we're going to see how to install Eclipse. Now for those of you that don't know what Eclipse is, it's an integrated development environment otherwise known as IDE for Java. Uh, in layman's terms it's basically a, a text editor for developers and programmers who want to code and program in Java. So to start off with we're going to see how to download it. So simply launch your web browser like so and then in the search engine type Java Eclipse, press enter, and then simply click on this link, Eclipse Downloads, which is going to bring you to the download page of uh, the Eclipse website. In the case that you arrive on the main page of the website, simply click on download right here and you'll arrive at the same page. So what we want is the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers package so not the standard package we want this package that allows us to program in Java so uh, simply select the, the package uh, adapted for your Windows architecture in my case it's Windows 64-bit so I'm going to click on Windows 64-bit and then uh, simply click on the direct link here the HTTP link for to, to be able to download it directly so click on that and then uh, the download will start and simply wait until it's finished. So now that we've uh, downloaded the installation for Eclipse which comes in the form of a zip file and for which all intents and purposes I've put on the desktop right here as you can see we can basically install it. So to install it all you have to do is extract the zip file. Now to do this right click on it and keep in mind that to be able to do this you need a, a program like WinRAR or 7-zip for to extract these files. Um, so as I said right click on the file and then click on extract to the name of the folder like so. And then as you can see the extraction starts. It may take a while because there are a lot of small files uh, to extract so just wait until the extraction is finished <coughs> okay and then double click on the folder and then as you can see you have an eclipse folder inside double click on the eclipse folder and as you can see, uh, there is no installation wizard. So basically what we've done is we've extracted the actual installation. So this Eclipse folder, basically, we can put anywhere on our computer, on our hard drive. So for example, we could put it into uh, program files if we wanted to. And then all we'd have to do is uh, launch the, uh, the application by double clicking on Eclipse right here. And the program should start by itself. Click on run, and yep, as you can see, uh, program starting is launching. It may take a while uh, if you're launching it for the first time. Okay, so now it's asking you to choose a workspace, so uh, you can change the location of the workspace, but we're going to leave it by default. Um, so click on OK right here. And then just wait until it's loaded all of, uh, all of its files. And there you have it. Eclipse is installed and you can start using it.